Hi there guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, this is again back to standard time for us at 3.30 in the morning and everything's peaceful and quiet. Um, I'm going to be doing one video for you. Um, just continue for the, with the list for some time since uh, these are getting some views and popularity. Let's just keep doing them. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, some of you can be annoyed by that, but it's okay, you know, like uh, we don't have to be so serious and reviewing all the time. Sometimes it can be just for fun. So this app, uh, this time i'm going to be doing a list for summer once again but night time so the difference between day and night you guys already know i don't need to educate you on that one but daytime and nighttime only difference between these two times in terms of fragrance usage for me is the sun you know when the sun goes down even if the humidity stays you know at night time but you know it's not as bad as the daytime right so in the daytime you need something more brighter fruitier citrus nighttime you can wear a little bit of your darker fragrances and it can be a little bit more pungent or stronger uh, you can pull them off but for me these are some of the fragrances i personally used and i feel they're going to be good for uh, night time okay it can mean you can go clubbing with them i don't know it's up to you and one other thing i would like to say the there's no such designation that this particular fragrance you can only wear at night this particular fragrance you can only wear during getting married no such thing you wear what you like okay the freedom is the most important thing as a braveheart movie taught us what you want to do without freedom right so today i have a uh, 15 fragrances and 15 i handpicked them i looked at my different different collection i have many more i cannot i can go crazy uh, if i actually have to choose from so many so i decided you know like it cannot be it's not possible you cannot put hundreds of the perfumes in one video so 15 these are just 15 okay so i'll start with this perfume recent times i got this this basically is the original of this one it's meant for winter colder months but i think this one nighttime you can wear it and uh, this is from Latafa, Mason Alhambra, called Amber and Leather. So this, what this is, this is a clone of uh, Ombre Leather by Tom Ford for a much budget uh, friendly, you know, you know, price tags, okay. So this one, it's not super expensive. This is under $20 and I think this fragrance is super beautiful, okay. It's really clean. This, just straight to the point, when you smell it, you definitely can tell it's Ombre Leather uh, right down there and it's different than Tuscan Leather uh, because Tuscan Leather is a lot more, uh, raspberry you know it's a bit more fruity and when i smell this um i'm getting a little bit of a, a leather a little bit of a you know you can say fruity vibe but it's a little bit drier than tuscan leather this one will push seven to eight hours at night time daytime it will push less okay put some on your clothes it's not massive in terms of siage and projection but longevity is pretty solid and this is a budget fragrance for definitely i would put it here so everybody can afford these fragrance okay amber and leather by mason alhambra latafa let's put it there number 14 i'm gonna go with i just picked it up i just looked at my collection and th at the back in my bogart section i had this fragrance for a very long time and this is a really nice fragrance nobody talks about these fragrance because these are affordable you can say cheapy and uh, this is house of jack bogart called club 75 this perfume it's so beautiful this is so lovely this is a sweet fragrance it's uh, similar to ted lapidus I think Purum Gold or something, one of those gold editions, you know, it's similar to that. But this is very sweet, very lovely. When I, I have it on my hand, when I smell it, it's kind of that powdery, very sweet tonka bean like. At the same time, you know, it feels like could be a cousin of Eros, you know, because of dry down. But it's more like Silver Sand, you know, like Ted Lapidus Purum Gold Edition and uh, better. Very good performer. If you want to go clubbing, the name is right there. And bottle is so lovely. Uh, with a built-in atomizer try to get uh, this fragrance you uh, perhaps like it a lot if you're on a budget club 75 check out my review on each i reviewed them all next one number 13 i think this continued gem i would say uh, i bought this and also another version called night from the line of obsession from house of calvin klein calvin klein is one of my favorite houses you guys know that i treasured this house just like asaro davidoff you know Akaraban. this fragrance called dark obsession for men i'm sorry the bottle took a little bit of scratches and beating when being with other buddies in the box i'm never gonna put it back there um you know the pain comes off a little bit mm, not happy about that so this one now is a bit hard to find and i think this is 125 mil or i forget let me check this 125 mil yes so some of the good stuff or you can say um you know positives about ck fragrance sometimes you get 125 mil so this is a actually very very mysterious fragrance okay the obsession night was similar to black orchid 
by Tom Ford. This is very close to Lance Tendigelan, Little Bit, or Cocorico by Jean Paul Gaultier, but very underrated. Nobody talks about it because it's CK perfume. It smells so good. It has a cacao vibe in there. So, perks of getting this perfume is that it has its own signature as well. It's much lighter, but I think on vanilla and patchouli and uh, perhaps that cacao vibe, okay? Little bit bitter, a little bit uh, powdery and masculine fragrance. Very sexy fragrance. You need to give it a try, okay? Dark Obsession, even look at the name, the way it's written. Very, very beautiful, okay? Dark Obsession for Men by Calvin Klein. So that's number 13. Number 12, I'm going to go with a popular fragrance. This is very popular, but I just wanted to keep it low today uh, because I want to give a little bit more focus on the other ones. This is very easy for me to suggest Arm of Club Doing Test Man. You guys need to know uh, this is like the most uh, hidden gem. No, <laughs> this everybody knows. This is the EDP version, the 200 ml massive bottle. This has weight, my friends. Okay, so this one definitely good performer if you get puff arm this one special edition limited edition they all are great why i bring it back night time this is basically a good all year round fragrance for day and night every single uh, time if you do not have the thing on mind that i don't want to smell like uh, every other guy on the street don't then do not rock it but other time it's a very solid fragrance for office work professional life it almost covers almost whole day's work on shirt okay beautiful fragrance night time Club Dino Intense Man, one of the best clones of Aventus. Some people would say no, but it is, okay. So next one is number 11, then I hit top 10. Number 11, similar. Oh, many of the bottles are in dark theme here. I did not notice that. No, nah, I'm kidding. I did notice that. Next one is from House of Ajmal called Kuro. This perfume, it's uh, like this one is, this one is a clone of uh, Aventus, right? This one is a clone of Dio Sauvage, okay? I don't know why I'm talking like that, but Kuro is beautiful. I bought this last, you know, out of the three, uh, Shiro, then Blue, and then I bought Kuro, three from the line. Absolute beautiful bottle. I love these slick bottles, very nice, affordable, budget-friendly fragrances, and this is a clone of Dior Sauvage, but with its own twist. Really nice atomizer. Let me show you. Shoots a lot of juice. This is very fruity, sweeter, less peppery, less annoying. Uh, I think it lasts about the same time as Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. So you can imagine something between Carbon and Savage. This is the fragrance. Sweet, compliment getter, nighttime. If you're going for like a walk or a late night dinner or a date, you can pull this off. But I would say do not wear this on the first date because it's not the most unique fragrance. She will be like, ah, I smelled him before. Okay. He, he smells like my ex. So you don't want that. But if you already know her, you know then you keep wearing it she will like this fragrance it's very masculine so top 10 next one i'm gonna go is house of house of davidoff and i have picked up two davidoff fragrances davidoff davidoff this is uh, one fragrance perhaps you can say why didn't you put the Givenchy? okay i have another Givenchy fragrance similar to this okay but i'm gonna show you this one first this is called davidoff hot water and luckily for me this dark ridges or dark sides mean not ridges dark sides mean uh, this is the vintage batch okay the new ones are transparent at the side it all looks red it looks kind of naked to be honest but these bottles are so gorgeous these are mysterious dark red and i first time saw it you guys know i have a thing for red and blue uh, not the area but uh, yeah the, the fragrances so the red bottle is beautiful let me get another fragrance i want to show you similar to this yeah sorry i forgot to bring the other one i don't want to show you both uh this next one it's uh Similar to that, but it's a bit rare to find a more expensive called Xerius Rouge. Equally good. Both these fragrances are red themed. Similar sort of, but this is more unique. Okay. The Xerius Rouge. It has a cactus note and it's kind of peppery, piment, pimente or pimento note. But compared to that, Davidoff is a little bit more straightforward. I think it's kind of, to me, it's a bit boozy, vanilla, kind of peppery. Very nice fragrance. I love it. It's a beast mode performer. If you put this on, just forget about the brand. Okay. For once, for God's sake, forget about the brand. Put this one, go out somewhere. People will ask you what you're wearing. Nobody, even people who are rocking niche perfumes, nobody smell like you. One of the most unique fragrances, Davidoff, hot water. Great for summer nights, I feel. Okay. It works, it warms you up a little bit. It's a mysterious perfume. Next one, it's kind of a freshy. I love this fragrance. I just love it. It's a brand new release almost, you can say. From House of uh, Latafa called Mahir Legacy this fragrance right here i hate the bottle design i'll be honest i love the horse but this bottle design 
uh, not so great. Why? Because the base is very bad. It wobbles like that. It can fall and break. Okay. So I'm, I broke one bottle like this before, so I'm a bit careful. So this fragrance, what it is, similar to Parfum de Marly, Sedley. You can wear this for daytime, nighttime. Even you can wear this for colder, colder months because it has good push, great longevity. And if you like Sedley, this is a bit more Middle Eastern style, a bit more powdery, less lemony. But I think I prefer this one. For price, it's a no-brainer. Definitely try it out. Mahir Legacy by Latapa. You can wear this for nighttime. You can uh, you can feel like a breezy night. Okay. Next one. I'm not suggested for everyone because some people definitely say, hey, this is a winter fragrance. What are you doing? Yeah, it is. But I like it at nighttime in summer. I cannot deny it. We mostly have warmer weather. I wear it when it's a little bit rainy. Okay. So this is called Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy Private Edition. I do have the Legacy version. But this one also comes with, oh man, I hate when that happens. Uh, they have, let me show you, hold on. See, what happened was, just now I took out the cap. What happened was, it was showing just this atomizer, but not this part. This one is a little bit loose, and sometimes it gets stuck there and come out. But by right, it has to be a magnetic cap, okay? Yeah, I don't want See, not nice. So, yeah, but apart from that, nothing else is wrong with this fragrance. I just love it. It's a bit rare to find in our side really nice looking bottle so what you get is maple sap okay it's kind of like a maple syrup and a little bit of amber i think a little bit of a it's very sweet fragrance that's what it is you know it's a very sweet unique fragrance and i think if you are going out with the boys you know with your buddies and everything and you used to like lamal okay let's just put it that way maybe you used to like lamal but you don't like it anymore because it's a bit old school this is more new school lamal for me okay with a lot more sweetness and i think it's a sexy fragrance beast mode longevity okay definitely try it out christian ronaldo legacy private edition amazing unique fragrance okay and i love christian ronaldo amazing footballer and human being next let's go blood chanel but not blood chanel exactly missoni parfum purum i recently talked about it love it raving over it beautiful bottle magnetic cap and all that and very refined fragrance very refined I do love Bleu de Chanel. If you ask me side by side, which one do I prefer? Of course, Bleu de Chanel. But price tag, $200 versus $40, $50. Bucks, okay? You make your decision. Equal amount of juice. Performance is better with Missoni. Check, check it out. It's a good fragrance. Okay, For nighttime, you can go out for a date. Amazing fragrance for summer nights. Next one. I actually was going to suggest this one. Okay, But it's so hard to find this continent called Cool Water Night Dive. You can't find this anymore. One of the most unique. And I think this is appropriate, just the right amount of elements for summer nights. And it feels like deep sea diving or taking a dip. We can't find it anymore. So I have a solution for you. Go with this instead, okay? Cool Water in, uh, Intense by David of Same House. I also have Parfum, but this is beast mode. You spray two to three times, your night is covered. No issue, okay? Beast mode, I'm the best performer from this house. Not top five. We're going to go quickly. Because time is running out. Time is everything. Time is money. This next one is, uh, you can say, I have a lot of memories with this fragrance, okay? I had a smaller bottle of this. I did not like it at first. I had a more made in England version, made in UK version, which was not my favorite. So now I have a made in Germany version, I think. Made in France or Germany. One of these. Uh, made in France, yes. This is a semi-vintage Dolce & Gabbana Purum. And this one is right after the uh sticker version okay i do have a miniature of a vintage but you cannot find these anymore so if you can find this one france version or germany whatever they have just avoid the uk version that kind of sucks okay but you know if you can find anything that is also okay this fragrance a lot of memories man max 40 made me look at this okay lemon lavender tobacco spices such a masculine fragrance man when you put it on at first you feel like you're gagging you know <laughs> If you put too much i went for clubbing once uh, i think long time back um man that was some crazy night anyway so i was sweating like crazy and you know man this fragrance a lot of memories one of the best fragrances a man can wear okay i like this in summertime especially uh, i do love Dolce and gabbana the other one is what uh what's the other one <laughs> anyway the dark bottle anyway so this one i think is a great fragrance at night time if you are looking for a signature scent this can be a signature scent all year round it works dolce and gabbana purum 
Oh, the other one is called Intenso. That one is a bit darker. Number four. I'm gonna go with Luxodor, Loyal Agar. One of the best, hands down, the best fragrance I ever bought. Okay. Why? If you do like Layton, it is similar to that and better. Uh, much cheaper price tag. It does come with a magnetic cap. I mean, if you can get older batches, great. If you can get uh, Al Haram and Detour Noir, which is also very good, but doesn't come close to this for uh, like quality. Definitely one of my favorite nighttime fragrance, Loyal Agar by Luxodor. Top three. Let's move it a little bit this side. Number three is a sweet fragrance. I said it in my first video how much I like it. It works better in summer than winter. This fragrance is called Jean Paul Gaultier Scandal Purum. Absolutely marvelous looking bottle. Really great looking bottle. Love it. And Jean Paul makes no mistake when they make perfumes. They make sweet fragrances. Okay. Uh, if you like sweet night out clubbing, this is a clubbing king. See the crown? It is a king. I absolutely love it. I get compliments very long lasting and i have a first batch definitely before reformulation this is more like a modern day invictus or ultra male these are fragrances will get you compliments with the ladies not as sure not sure if you're kind of like a douchey dude no but if you're a nice guy and pulling this off good looking good shape candle pour them. definitely one of my favorites for summer nights number two and number one two designer fragrance i'll finish with this note let's go number two victor and Rolf spice bomb it's a classic and i'm a classic guy i'm sorry i'm not but i'm a classic guy but because i'm vintage i'm old but i'm not a classic guy let's say but i love spice bomb okay these are kind of fragrances i have great memories of when i started my journey this fragrance has made everybody's list man steven jeremy mark all the great reviewers loved it sexy tobacco pink pepper black pepper similar to men in black and this perfume nowadays it's a little bit light, not as dark as before. So you can wear this as summer night. And I think this makes a very good statement still. Really lasts a long time still. Uh, Victor of Spice Bomb Extreme, you can wear for winter. You can wear this for summer. Amazing fragrance. Number one. What is my number one today? I picked up Eros. Because I felt like it, okay? Eros Parfum, okay? You can get EDT, EDP, Parfum. The EDT you don't get now because it is a bit too weak. EDP and Parfum are very good performers, long lasting, and I think they really made it polished. They are very close to each other, like they don't have that much differences. The Green Apple, Tonka, Vanilla, same formula, and the, but the Eros Flame is a little bit different. This one is just a classic Eros. When you smell this, you just know good times, clubbing, late night out, uh, dating, driving, your friends. This is Eros, okay, one of the best fragrances Versace ever made. Very sexy perfume. Ladies love it. Uh, I have, I'm not lying, okay, I have seen girls liking this DNA because it's very sexy, it's very sweet, that mint is lovely. Uh, girls like fragrances like that. So definitely number one today, Versace Eros Parfum. So these are 15 fragrances. Should have picked 10 just. Could have been a shorter video. But I'm doing just the one video, so I hope it's okay. Do let me know what are your favorites and uh, did I make any mistake? What did I miss? Uh, I just love to hear your thoughts. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.